Good evening everyone, Ragewood here with a Dragonair Science Gods video. Do excuse the vest top, it's still hot as balls here in the southern UK, especially in my little one bed flat. So, it was built ages ago, very good at insulating, good in the winter, bad in the summer. That being said, season four is upon us and with a new season that also means changes to a lot of the dungeon mechanics. And that applies to all of the domains as well. So this is going to be the first video um, of uh, three, because it's on all three domains. Just going to show you what I'm doing and what the new boss mechanics are, and we'll go from there. So, as you can see from the screen, I am running two damage dealers in Lucenia and Oster. I have Felosia and Asilla as my supports, and then I have Quaesetia as my tank. <clears throat> Quaesetia is a new pull for me today, spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen my summons video, do go check that one out. I have scrolled her already, and I'm looking forward to using her uh, in, in Season 4. So, let's look at the boss then. So we're on stage three at the moment. Obviously this will apply throughout the entirety of it, whether it's stage one or stage five, all of it's going to be the same. The only difference is on stage one, you don't get the stage property, okay? So this is only from two upwards. <clears throat> but it says poison and fire damage dealers um, deal less damage and they take more, essentially, all right? So then we look down at Akara. Uh, Akara's basic attacks do additional effects to enemies under debuffs. That includes the burns, and her skill also inflicts extra stack of burns on heroes without shields. So that is why we have brought Felosia. Uh, if I remember rightly, I, th I think this is a new thing this season. And then down the bottom here it's saying what it recommends you bring, and um, yeah. So First passive, when launching basic attack against enemies who possess a burn, it inflicts two extra stacks on them, while each debuff on Akara herself reduces the extra infl infliction of burn by one stack. So if you've got two debuffs on her, she's only going to do the uh, standard, as it were. Um, <clears throat> this skill ignores resistance, not ideal, and it inflicts one stack of burn on enemies simultaneously, grants Akara one stack of total Bonus damage. This, I also think, is new. So, in an ideal world, you're going to want to have uh, debuff immunity, if you can. And that is why I have Asilla. Asilla is providing that for me, as well as a cleanse. So, yeah, this is, um, I say, new. Um, certainly makes it a little bit harder. Immune to all control effects. Nothing new there. And then the first ability, or the first two, I guess, uh, deals fire damage and inflicts four stacks of burn. If enemies possess shields, it only inflicts two. So this is where you're going to want your shielder. Uh, ideally, you're going to want your debuffs and your shield or debuff immunity before this. So then you don't give her any of those extra stacks. The ultimate then... Um, deals fire damage to enemies and removes their shields. Now, again, I think this is new as well, uh, so we can't necessarily Garius cheese our way through to victory. <clears throat> now, of course, we're all in to give it a go, uh, but I just wanted to play with my new toy, hence why I'm using Quasitia rather than Garius. The first two rounds, uh, I do not believe the heroes have changed. It is only the boss. <clears throat> so I've got Oster level 70 um, just in some gear with the hook to give me a bit of extra crit rate everyone is going to be in the same boat at this stage with just throw on whatever you can stats over sets I, you know, in a way um, if you can match sets that's great my Felosia is still 2 star my Lysenia is 3 I have her in Witch's Remains, 
and in my crit rate set, why is she in my crit rate set? Well, it rolled accuracy main stat and not much else going for it on the axe, hence why this is not on my Oster. Scylla, also a three star in the horn, and guess what? Accuracy main stat again. You're probably thinking, why is that on her? Well, it's if I'm being frank, it's just for the enlightenment that this set gives me. <clears throat> and then Corsetia is in the blast jar. Um, again, with just as much defense as I could get her in what I have. <clears throat> so without further ado, we're using the attack aura. No food. Let's take it away. <clears throat> now this will full auto stage three, um, but it's not a hundred percent success. I'd say it's probably 80 to 90%, um, full auto. Obviously I can make it hundred percent if I just sort of occasionally today, a sitter, uh, it really sort of depends on the knockback that uh, Cassetti is putting up. <clears throat> but when it works, it's pretty smooth. Nothing too drastic to worry about. <clears throat> there we are. Now on to the boss. And then hopefully, I'm just going to slow it down so we can see... Uh, some of these uh, sort of happenings as it were so we did have a few burns put out there um, but because we had some debuffs up we did not get the extra stacks we've got our shield up and our debuff immunity so fingers crossed yep yeah, we resisted that that's fine so then in comes the ultimate I'm going to smack pretty hard. The team says, ouch. And we go again. So we have our shields up, our damage reduction as well. A Scylla with the debuff immunity. And I say, we're just trying to keep these stacks down, ultimately. All right. Debuff immunity has dropped off me, so we do take some burns here. Can we survive? Ooh, Felosia bit the dust, but we did manage to succeed. New best time for me at 1 minute 31 there. And we got our gems ready to make people a four star. <clears throat> so I know what you're all already typing. You have all these great heroes. I don't have them. You know, this isn't helpful to me. And you're right, in a way, okay? But the concept is still the same. So let's say you don't have any of these, any of these, any of these. Who could you use instead? So for me, the first person that I think of to replace Felosia is Aladia here. She was the season three um, chief challenge reward, I guess. And she is putting control immunity, which is, you know, neither here nor there. The important thing is she's putting the shields up on all of you, all right. And when you have a shield, part of her passive is she puts attack down on the target. So she's kind of filling two roles here. Um, and it's not just her shields, it's just any shield. So if you had her paired with, let's say, an Adolphus and you're rotating... Those shield cycles, there's no reason why, in theory, you can't have attack down up constantly. Now, who else could you use? Now, the damage dealers, you can just put in anyone in that role, all right? I say anyone, you've got to obviously be careful that you don't put someone too squishy in, but just for the sake of this exercise, let's say I'm going to put in those two. <clears throat> Cleanser and your tank. Um, now, ideally, you know, there's only three heroes in the game that do a full cleanse everything. That is Asilla, Gulend, and uh, Raider. But you don't need a full cleanse in this because you've only got the one debuff. So, someone who is Queen 
has been queen for a very long time. You all know who I'm going to look at. It is Enna here, okay? She dispels one debuff from each ally and puts a recovery over time on them. Now, it's not quite the heal that Asilla is going to provide you. However, it might not you don't, might not need that, all right? As you can see, um you just need to get rid of those burns. So in this instance, you would wait until the boss has done that second burn rotation, put the more burns on you, and then you would use Enna um, to clear them off <clears throat> before uh, the ultimate. You would hopefully at this point also have the attack down, but if you, from Aladia, but if you don't for whatever reason, these are all the heroes, oh, crumbs, these are all the heroes that place attack down in some fashion, all right? Now, this is not uh, an exact science because sometimes they're AOE, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're on battle skills, sometimes they're on ultimates. So do have a read, like Utior and Theodomir are on battle skills, Vinyara is on the ultimate. I think Ripercast has three or four different options. So do have a read before you, you pick. You know, I was using Fathom Down as my tank and my attack down option. What I would say is if you're running Enna, a tank and an Adia, you're probably gonna wanna run, run one damage dealer, especially early game. Because there's no point having a fast team if you can't complete the thing in the first place. So, you know, in this instance, Radiance paired with Fire this season. Sorry, Radiance is paired with Lightning this season, rather. So let's get rid of the attack penalty and let's find our good friend. Where is he? Corion. Corion is arguably the single best. Uh, rare healer early on free to play because he heals all allies on a very short call down and grants defense up he's also got the passive where he has a chance of increasing the healing great great support hero highly recommend him if you're not using him i've used him in many end game comps um even in um other worlds for the past two seasons so you certainly won't be disappointed so in this instance you might run something like this uh, Corion isn't a full board heals so you know maybe you do something like this you all clump up the risk of doing that though is the burns will sort of explode over sort of to each other so just bear that in mind but hopefully this gives you some sort of example of other possible options and showing you sort of the mechanics of this new flame domain in season four. <clears throat> so thank you for taking the time for watching. Uh, look after yourselves, take it easy, work hard. But as always, play harder, and I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers.